friends now we have to solve one trigonometric problem find sin theta such that 3 cos theta plus 4 sin theta is equal to 4 friends don't forget to subscribe our channel because here we are trying to cover each and every problem of mathematics from class 1st to class 12 with English explanation as well as Hindi explanation. So friends, subscribe our channel and now see the next video. Friends, now see in this given problem, the given condition is 3 cos theta plus 4 sin theta is equal to 4. By using this equation, we have to find sin theta. Now since we have to find sin theta, we have to change this equation in one variable equation. Now currently see, in this equation, we have two variables, cos theta and sin theta. So we have to change cos theta also in terms of sin theta. That's why first we have to shift remaining terms on other side so that we can keep cos theta, sum of cos theta single alone. So that after squaring this, we can change it as 1 minus sin square theta by using identity. So, shifting 4 sin theta in the right hand side, we get 3 cos theta is equal to 4 minus 4 sin theta. Now, squaring on both the sides, we get 3 cos theta whole square in the left hand side is equal to, in the right hand side, 4 minus 4 sin theta whole square. Now, Solving these square terms, means solving the brackets, we get in the left hand side, c square that is 9 cos square theta is equal to in the right hand side, expanding this bracket, we get 4 square 16 minus 4 4 the 16 to the 32 sin theta middle term plus square of last term, 16 sin square theta. Now, after this expansion, first we have to change cos square theta in the left hand side into sin square theta by using identity. So, we get 9 into in bracket at the place of cos square theta, we have to write 1 minus sin square theta by using identity sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 is equal to our right hand side as it is without any change. Now, solving the bracket in the left hand side, we get 9 1 the 9 minus 9 sin square theta is equal to right hand side as it is. Now, we have only one variable sin theta in this equation. It is also quadratic. So, first we have to change this equation in proper form of quadratic. So, we have to collect terms of sin square theta together, then term of sin theta and then constant. So, rearranging these terms, we get 25 sin square theta minus 32 sin theta plus 7 is equal to 0. Minus 9 square plus 16 sin square minus become plus in the right hand side. So, 16 plus 9 become 25 sin square theta. Middle term minus 32 sin theta as it is. And the 9 in the left hand side become minus in the right hand side. So, 16 minus 9 that is 7 plus 7. So, this is proper quadratic form, 25 sin square theta minus 32 sin theta plus 7 is equal to 0. Now, we have to factorize it, we have to split the middle term in two parts so that sum of the coefficients is equal to minus 32 and product of the coefficients is equal to product of coefficients of first and last term, 25 into 7. So, after splitting, we get 25 sin square theta, first term as it is, minus, instead of 32 sin theta, we have to write two terms, minus 25 sin theta, minus 7 sin theta, plus constant term, plus 7 as it is, is equal to 0. Now, see here, we have two middle terms, after splitting, minus 25 sin theta, minus 7 sin theta. Their sum is same as middle, minus 32 sin theta, and their product is same as coefficient, product of the coefficient of first and last, 25 to 7. So now, we have to take common factors from first two terms and then last two terms. 
Now from first two terms we can take 25 sin theta common. So by taking 25 sin theta common from first two terms we get in bracket sin theta minus 1. Similarly by taking minus 7 common from last two terms we get in bracket sin theta minus 1 is equal to in the right hand side 0 as it is. Now we have two terms in the left hand side and both the terms contains one common bracket, common factor sin theta minus 1. So taking sin theta minus 1 in one bracket we get other bracket as 25 sin theta from first term minus 7 from second term. So now we have two brackets as factors, two factors in the left hand side is equal to 0 in the right hand side as it is. That means either first bracket sin theta minus 1 is equal to 0 or second bracket 25 sin theta minus 7 is equal to 0. That means from first option we get sin theta is equal to 1 or from second option we get sin theta is equal to 7 upon 25. Now we have two values of sin theta. One is only single one unit and other is 7 upon 25. Both the values are valid permissible because we can take value of sin theta either minus 1 or 1 or between minus 1 to 1. So these values are permissible. So we have two values of sin theta. Friends, solve this problem again in your notebook for your better understanding. And don't forget to give one like to us. Thank you.